Hi everyone, it's Alfred. Uh, we're playing more fucking Dishonored. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. When you asked me if I wanted to start, I was gonna be like, Hi, I'm Connor, and this is my, my wife, Sarah. Here we are, folks. Hi, I'm Catherine, and I wanna kiss every boy! <laughs> That's you. That'd be your voice. Can you do an actual impression? Of you? Yeah. I'm Sarah! <laughs> I really thought that the sign said dicks. Let's go. The importance of font. Yeah. What's up, bitch? Oh, wait. Mark Hovo. What's up, oh. other bitches? Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal What's his name that again? tells us the Lord Martin? Regent's mistress no, no, sat the for a Our character. So Corvo. 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 I think I did call him Kovo. Ooh, so my brain is gone today. Bridge, about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, mm. and it'll enable Let me us just to make our next move. Caress my no beard. So. <laughs> Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the high overseer. Caressing your beard in sympathy. Empire. Yeah. You make this old military man. Proud. I don't know if you mentioned this, but I've started growing That's a mustache, it. longer beard, and. It's the longest I've ever had uh, facial hair in my life. Very Aragorn-like. I, I quite like it. I want you. So we're going to rewatch the Lord of the Rings movies recently, and I want you, Sarah, to pay attention to Aragorn's voice in them, because his accent changes through the movies. I do notice, like, it's very, time... very subtly and very intelli uh, um, very intentionally. I noticed that. Um... Is it, okay, is it when he's around certain types of people? Like, when he's around the elves versus when he's around humans? Um, no, when he's, when he's at the start, he has more of a brogue, so he sounds, you know, a little more country, a little more... Actually, can I buy anything from you? Um, he sounds a little more rough, I guess, in his voice. Mm -hmm. And that starts to become more refined and fancy as he uh, goes on. Because yeah. he starts being more noble and being a king. Oh, my cat's peeping. He's peeping. He gonna find you. He gonna catch your treats in. God rays. Stay cute. <laughs> Baby. Sammy. Peeping. Off to Caldwin's bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. How is the sound on this? Ah, oh, fuck. One second. I'm gonna check the sound. Hey, we're back. Um, yeah, our shit was turned down too, though. So, I hope you read the subtitles, because shit, that last cutscene was inaudible. Whoopsie doopsie. Whoopsie doopsies. Let's go. Just climb aboard when you're ready. You know it, Sammy. So, for a recap, we just got back from all the other shit, and we are now looking for a dude named Sokolov, who is, in fact, named after the scientist from Metal Gear Solid 3. Mm hmm? We actually what saw him in the beginning. Oh, he was painting that picture and we knocked over the bottle that was in the, in the shop. And now and now we're going to take out his kneecaps. We are. With the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. You See all them lights on the water. Again. That's right. <laughs> You're going to have to narrow it down. There's a lot of good scenes before. I know a good crotch when I feel it. No, it is canon that he can now, tell uh, the so difference between Snake and Rykov because of the crotch. Mm -hmm. Maybe even it's unclear what that means exactly, a but... Gun wall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, this isn't my boy toy. Like, seems dangerous to me. He has way but too big walls. Like, is that it? Or, or is Rykov, like, seriously packing? So yeah, we're abducting him. I'll meet you at the remedy. under Sokolov's place Guaranteed with your ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. All right. Blue powder. I don't know what that means. The Preston Club. Okay. I totally forgot that this mission was in here. I like I don't I don't remember doing it. I remember jumping around on a bridge actually. It reminds me of the bridge in June 2016. Mm, I like this water. I like the way the, the, the glass breaks on the water. Yeah. This is good looking water actually. Amazing looking water for a GBA game. Who is the 
that one game we saw recently where uh, the water just looked like it was from MS Paint? Was it a... Oh god, don't, don't tell me. It's... Mm. Hold on, I almost got it. It's it's that game that was inspired by that that show we're watching from the nineties. Please help. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I got it. Hold on. The show is Twin Peaks. Does yes, that help you? yes, yes, it does. It, I know it's Twin Peaks. Okay, so okay. what's the game? Um, it just got a sequel. Okay. It is. Citizens and visitors to our city. I'm so sorry. By I've been studying for an organ organic chemistry exam all day, and I aced no it, but now I'm brain dead, so... Something like a killer recollection. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement uh, is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Oh, God. Okay. Curfew um, will end no, I see it. I literally see the game sunrise. in my head. He goes to a small town. Yep, FBI agent of some. He's he's an FBI agent. He flavor. goes to a small town. <coughs> deadly. Oh my God. Deadly pre premonition. Yes. Is that yes. Okay. <laughs> I did it. I did it, everyone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you proud of me? <sighs> Good job. Thank you, I appreciate it. It only took you uh, six minutes. Oh, but I did it eventually. That's better than usual. Eventually. Oh god, not already. Here, chew me to death, piranhas. Uh, I was I was hoping I could zoom in on the piranha mouth. Alright. Very welcoming. <laughs> ah, did you forget about me? Ah, I'm still biting you. You have met a piranha based demise. Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov. All right, that was rather silly. Can piranhas actually, you know, because we see piranhas in TV shows and they like take all your skin and like you're left as a skeleton. But is that, I don't think that's actually a thing, is it? Uh, I think it is. Citizens we don't know that it's not, right? City. By order I think of we do. Region. I mean, we is as people, active. but we as like. No what if you Google it right now? Okay, I'm gonna do that. Bridge until curfew is lifted. How fast can a piranha skeletize a human? Mm. It's Ada Wong. I know, I like it. Sarah's just spotted my uh, lock screen, which is Ada Wong's big butt. Good taste. Okay. Can piranhas eat? Eat you alive, I guess is the right way to say that. Oh my god, he died to death. <laughs> the first thing that shows up is we are pretty sure no one has been eaten alive by piranhas. We don't know that it hasn't happened. Uh, it says... Wikipedia says most piranha attacks on humans only result in minor injuries, typically to the feet or hands. But they are occasionally more serious and very rarely can be fatal. Uh, Six-year-old girl died. 2015. So they can get small prey, it looks like. Would you rather fight 50 little piranhas or one big piranha? Uh, I guess one big one. Cause well, well, knowing what I know now, I'd kind of rather face the 50s. Well, because I've played Half-Life 1. Well, the thing is, is, I could eat at least 25 piranhas. What, you're just going to pick them up and <laughs> swallow them? Jesus, Sarah. Do you want them? What has been done to you? Ah, the Pratchett Warehouse. For the best Tibian produce, look for the Pratchett brand. Kinda look cute. Piranhas? Yeah. I'm glad you're 
citizens and visitors. Spending this LP looking at Prana. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. The curfew is now active. You have a job no to do. Foot traffic oh, okay. is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. This is ridiculous. Attention, all citizens. No so, pedestrian uh, movement. Who are we the the We're kidnapping the uh, guy who was painting that portrait period. in the very intro of the game. Ah, that portrait you must up. Yes, Sokolov. Um, he's a dude who is apparently as smart as Piero Joplin, who is the dude who builds our shit as is. So combining both of them will mean that we get better or shit. You're, you get a lot of parallels in this game, I noticed. So what, how do you mean? Um, You're right, but go on. Of, of people characters specifically, like especially when you see the um, triplets. Yeah. Um, and then now this. And when I say a lot, I mean I've noticed it twice, which is more than I usually notice. So. Hey, get ready for another set of triplets to show up in the game. Oh boy. By the way, the uh, the two I keep calling triplets actually aren't triplets. They're twins. And then there's a separate set of triplets. Ah. Uh, Scale in the chain. You know, I think I remember reading somewhere that, uh, mutations that create a lot of twins, or a lot of, um, triplets or, or whatnot, can, is a result of, um, incest somewhere huh? in the family line. I mean, that would make sense, considering how much incest there is. Fake Britain. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's kind of what my thought process was. Okay. You know, I've said it before um, in the earlier episodes, but um, the infrastructure of this place and just like how advanced their, um, their society is in general, maybe not um, like morally or whatnot, but Technologically, it's very advanced for what the time it's trying to portray. Yeah, um, it's one of the things I really like. Citizens how it's very obviously like by order of the region, it's familiar, the but it's so fucking is now weird. Active. No foot traffic is allowed across Aldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Nailed Attention, it. all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Speck of evidence Bridge. left behind. Curfew will end tomorrow morning. Actually, wait. Is there anything else in here? What? So is it through here? Yeah, I am equip equipping the heart to find locations of bone charms. Oh, I think I remembered this building. Are we gonna play the well, second now, Dishonored Pratchett. as well? Even a uh, it'll be a bit. Like oh yeah. Watch. Gangs are hurting roads and smashing windows. Which one do you prefer? And the weakest, um, I haven't played the second one. Ooh. Though I haven't played the DLC of this one. No more gay fan fiction? Well, it was the gay fan fiction, but it was the same one. Oh, I see. Getting duplicates. Well, I have my specs on. My seers, so I can sure, actually read like this Sure, like that Sokolov. He's doing fine. Always a lot of exotic items coming and going from his place. Hmm. Keeps this place run. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can make some mistakes. Huh? At least I like now. this nice reclining yes, chair yes. they got. If by exotic right. you mean foul smelling as a witch's Ooh, bottle. Ooh, it has like feet. The royal physician will be like nine chairs. Oh, I heard something. Whatever got that feet? Huh. What is that? Dude. Look away from me, asshole. He was. What? No. <laughs> Do your evil points go up when you kill a dog? Uh. -huh. All right. The important thing is that I didn't kill. Fuck. I didn't kill those guys. Just the dog. They are non-lethally sleep dark poison. For God's sake. How about we just let's try this one more time? At least for now. Yes, yes. Because I need to know. You mean foul smelling as a witch's body? <laughs> the royal physician will be fine. Someone there? What in the? <laughs> 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 no, 
no, no, that's perfect. Keep Trigger it. safety. <laughs> Come on. At least for now. Yes, yes. If I didn't know there was friendly fire in this game. We've seen it a few times. Or sorry, not friendly fire. Uh, infighting. This combination. I think it's just in here somewhere. I wonder if the, uh, the, uh, oh god, what do you call it? Brothel. I wonder if the brothels have different toilets. <laughs> Judith is in the painting, crowded ship, whaling ship, slaughterhouse. Some of those fancy bidets. Yeah, one of them horror bidets. I feel like I've already told the story before, but I told you about why we can't have bid bidets, right? Yeah, you told me. Oh, oh well, I, I'm just trying to make sure I didn't say it, like, on the channel already. A little repetitive. Seven! But, um, yeah, the reason we don't have bidets here in uh, good old America is because, uh, you know, a bunch of soldiers uh, went to brothels, you know, during war and learned about bidets, and then they, uh, said, wow, wow, I can't believe uh, those weird bidet things that they got, those squirty butthole things they have in, in France. Wouldn't know anything about that. Four. Who painted this? Is that Dylan or one of the cats? It's Dylan. Our brother's here, by the way. My brother-in-law, Sarah's brother. Yes. We're not siblings, as far as I know. Blood brothers. Three! Whale slaughterhouse. There you are. Well, it's close enough to his chair. Is he dead? No, he's unconscious. But if I were to shoot him in the head now, he would be. If I kill him, he will be dead. You know, as is the case. All right, seven, four, three. What was the order? I don't know. this dead air. Oh no, I'm just, I'm sitting in suspense. There, please. S someone has to do something to fill the dead air that I've created. What if we just make a cut and act like you got it on your first try? <laughs> <laughs> no, we can. That would be dishonest. Oh, you, you would find it very dishonoring? Uh, see, how can we cut <laughs> that joke out? Okay, hold on, let me try. No, I know, I know what it is. There, Jesus. We got it. Yay, I did it. What rune should I put? Um. Okay, hold on. What's. Uh, can you get more rat? Um. Rat is another two runes. Okay, save it for rat. Okay. I don't know why, but inexplicably, I've got. Wait, does that mean that Pratchett's gay? Because he's reading fan fiction? About gay men? Gay men, not like the crocodile. Or ale. What does Isn't for that sale? Cayman? Many oh. secret roots. <laughs> Sauce. Gay men. No, gay men. The crocodile. Women. 
and plague victims, victims have all left from no, He was the guy who wrote American Gods. I don't know who wrote American Gods. Neil so I... Gaiman. Oh, okay. That's the joke. I've got black or white stuck in my head. Don't sing it. We'll get copyright strikes. Okay. I don't think that's how it works. It can be, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, you'd be surprised. People have gotten copyright strikes because their voice sounds a little too similar to someone. Good for them. Well, yeah. not for the copyright stri uh, strikes, but, like, good for their, you know, being good enough. Yeah, like, smooth McGroove. Man, look at how hot I am. Damn. Also, check it out. This shows up. <laughs> so are they both evil? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. They're missing. What happened to him? I happen, remember? <laughs> I, uh, I, I paid off uh, Slackjaw, and he shaved their heads, cut out their tongues, and put them to work as slaves in their own minds. Remember? Ah, uh, I see. She actually does remember, folks. Never remembered a single thing in my life. It's true. These boards won't stop me. I can't read. Hello, boys. Those things? Yeah, what's up with that? I've been seeing less rats. Good. Um, oops. Oh, boy. Nope, it was nothing. They didn't see me, did they? Oh, the that was weird. <laughs> You've attracted a shadow person. Um, not yet, but later I uh, we're in a relatively sterile part of the city, is the deal. So there's only so many rats here. Save you for later, buddy. It's ridiculous how sensitive uh, their um... detection cones can or can't be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's such a it's such extreme sometimes. Strangulate him. Now, unfortunately, I'm out of. What? What got you? Hmm. That's uh. That was an arc pylon. <clears throat> that was unfortunate. So a uh, an arc pylon is fueled by whale oil, as you can see. It's that thing. It's a giant. Made us all touch the Tesla coil. Okay. That uh, electrocutes people. Ah, this was that death ray that they the that, it, that Tesla sold to the hotels. Yeah, listen to it. And the arc pylon will fry you. Those things? You give me the willy, sir. You'll be thankful when Slackjaw's boys come down the street to slit your. See, keep your eyes open. You know what the dog sense? Yeah. His dog senses are terrible. Oh, fuck. He's slippery. I really love the sound cues in this game. Like when you're noticing, it's like, Dah. Yeah, or like the weird whispering noise that the, the teleport makes. Alright. Are you where you need to be? That's just ridiculous. This, uh, this... Rats. Plague. Dude. Not cool. Elixir. Bunch of crap. This level's almost nearly a straight line, so... As it goes, it's one of the more linear ones. Oh my god, I could've just turned... Jesus Christ. I somehow just got an achievement there of Corvo and his big cool coat. Why don't you get a mattress? <laughs> Running this shit. You think it's the least they could give, yeah? Maybe Corvo needs his bed really uncomfortable. So yeah, getting around the arc pylons is kind of an issue because um, I don't know how many. Maybe it keeps him humble. Maybe it does. I think Corvo's a humble fellow. I think 
I think he is in the sense that like he's just here to get his job done. Like I, I've already mentioned how I love Corvo as just this resident professional. Who just doesn't give a shit about anything. Like, I'm just here to get my job done. Whatever that is. Right now, I'm being paid to get these people out of the way. Don't want to kill them. I'll just, you know, throw them in a mine. You're learning how to use that really well. I'm remembering how to use it really well, rather. Oh, they were doing the drunken sailor. Well, drunken whaler, but yeah. Oh. And yes. By the way, that's one of my favorite things about this game. The fact that, like, they got music and shit. I love that. Straight. Mm -hmm. Really, dude? To me. Ah! Yeah. Where'd he go? Uh, you know what? Maybe you should spin those runes on scene if you can steal someone's body. That's fair. Because I was going to say I could just steal his, but I actually don't have it yet. Come on. You can get things done in a new body. Yeah. He gets into a new body, he's like, wow, this is what sleeping on a on a mattress does. <laughs> this is what it's like to not have anxiety. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna go have sex with a guy's wife and his body. Fuck. There's no greater cucking than fucking a man with his own dick. But with permission first. <laughs> no, fuck a guy's wife with his dick. It's the ultimate cuck. Well, not permission from him. Just permission from the wife. He's British. She's probably not, you know, getting anything good anyway. <laughs> You heard it here first, everyone. British people can't bone. It's okay to fuck someone's wife if they're not good at sex. And you have their consent. The wives. Even if you're mind controlling the guy? Well yeah, you have you have to like you have to sit her down and have a conversation and be like, hey. I'm gonna take over your husband's body. Are you are you cool What's with this? On? What about the husband, Sarah? Did he deserve it? I'm gonna find you. I like we got this guy. He's probably done some stuff. Maybe, maybe we're do maybe we're doing them a service. We'll just treat the wife better. You know, you're heading towards the plot of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure season four. You know. <laughs> I just felt this conversation taking a taking a a woo turn, so wanted to backstep. Yeah, that probably would be wise. Oh, I need to go up and check the whale oil. What fur? The lights are working perfect. Well, there's That's Steve Bloom. And I like climbing the buildings. Oh yeah. I I love doing big drops like that. All right. Alright, I got out with minimal bites to my uh, asshole and taint. <laughs> Thanks, Piranha Coon. Alright. Ah. What is that? Yeah, these just kind of show up here. They're just weird plants. They're mentioned elsewhere, in fact. They're just really weird, like... I, I don't know of how many times I've actually said anything in relation to them. Oh, Christ. Hey, one moment, everyone. Actually, wait, how long have we been recording? Well, we've been recording for 20 minutes. Do you want to take a break, or do you want to record the next episode? Uh, let's take a break. Okay. Um, That'll be the outro for this episode, then. Do you want to do it? Yeah. I've been Sarah. I've been Alfred. See ya. This has been Dishonored, by the way, the game we've been playing. Oh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'll learn eventually. You will, I hope. Get wrapped.
that makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of troll we can dash him into.